for a 30, a familiar site is once again plaguing Metro East communities. We're talking about flooding. Streets in Cahokia Heights and East St. Louis are impassable after rain over the weekend. It's a problem that the area has struggled with for years, and area leaders continue to make promises to their residents. But now many say they're tired of waiting. First Lord Forrest Ian Broxton is tracking those water woes. For Cahokia Heights residents Patricia and Larnell Greenwood, this is beyond old. There is no word to express how tired I am. They say their street at Piot and Kings Highway right near East St. Louis floods too easily. It smells, it stinks. Monday morning, they showed first alert for their flooded crawl space. The couple says they have spent thousands repairing their home over the decades. Soon as it's repaired, it's torn up again. Our back two bedrooms are flooded out. You know, we've had to redo that. All underneath the house, we had to replace all the plumbing. First Alert 4 continues to report on the millions Cahokia Heights has received to fix its sewer and water lines. But town leaders say it will likely take more than a decade to fix everything. Until that happens, Cahokia Heights is working on small fixes like a pump system to prevent flooding on Piot and Kings Highway. I don't think it's working. After historic flooding in the summer of 2022, residents here in the East St. Louis and Cahokia Heights area have been waiting for potential FEMA buyouts. But almost two years later, residents are still waiting. St. Clair County Emergency Management tells First Alert 4 they submitted paperwork to move forward with the process. Now they're waiting to hear from FEMA, but moving isn't an option for the Greenwoods. We're not going to move, you know, and it's... We don't have anywhere to move. We don't have anywhere to move to. The Greenwoods just continue to wait for leaders to fix the issues like they've been doing for decades. We can't do anything. We, you know, we just... Hope they do something, you know. In the Metro East, Dion Broxton, First Alert 4. Now, First Alert 4 did contact the Illinois and Federal Emergency Management Agencies. Illinois EMA says it's waiting to hear back from FEMA, and we will bring you the response from FEMA when we receive that.